Well, actually, Flash itself is more successful than we ever thought it would be right now. Um, so, you know, our ambition when we first started working on on, on Flash was to make it as uh, you know, as much a fat part of the fabric of the web as something like JPEG or GIF, and uh, we, we have actually achieved that. You know, Flash reaches over 98% of, of PCs connected to the web today. Uh, that reaches on par with other technologies on the web. Uh, it's actually the most broadly deployed technology on the web today, even more than you know any particular operating system or browser. So it's a remarkable achievement to get uh, a really rich technology like Flash to be so widely available. Um, with video in Flash, uh, we actually started with a, a, a kind of more ambitious vision there, uh, which is still uh, on the way to coming to fruition. And that was re about real-time audio-video communication uh, two-way. Uh, as well as data, and so you could have a really live experience over the over the internet, talking to with other people and collaborating with others. And of course, video was an element of that. And so our, our vision, really, about uh, maybe seven or eight years ago now, was when we started this, uh, was to really enable that kind of broad communication platform on the web. And we've actually deployed that. So today, you can actually do two-way audio-video communication using the Flash Player. Uh, there's some websites doing that today. And, um, and now we're also providing things like screen sharing and, uh, via an application called Connect, uh, where you can actually you know, see each other and collaborate on the, on, on the screen together. Uh, so that was really the larger vision with, with Flash enabling collaboration across the web. And video uh, was something that uh, took off uh, you know, really broadly. And, and the reason for that, uh, I feel, is if you look at the video experience on the web prior to Flash, uh, it was a very fragmented experience. Uh, no video player had majority reach. Um, the experience of actually watching the videos was, was pretty poor. They tended to pop up in their own player windows. Uh, there was a lot of user interface around it. You had to answer all these questions, you know, like what's your bandwidth and which player do you have and all this stuff before you could actually watch a video. And with uh, video in Flash, we really completely changed that experience for the user and made it just work. You, know, you click on a, on, a, on a link and you can just watch a video inside a web page and it's a beautiful experience. You're not asked lots of questions, it just works. And so that was really the, the revolutionary change for the user. And then combined with the fact that we can actually update the web uh, so quickly, uh, we're able to now get new technologies across the web. Uh, in about nine months, we can get over 80% reach with the technology. So, and then of course work it, its way to 98% a little while after that. And so um, that means we can add a video capability or a new codec for video uh, or other capabilities like we're doing with Flash Player 10 now. You know, it has uh, great uh, 3D effects. It's got incredible text uh, support for layout. Uh, it's got great new filter effects you can actually write yourself that, that come from After Effects. Um, and so that kind of ability to keep innovating and revolutionize the experience is something that we're really doing with Flash and, and we're continuing to do uh, with Flash going forward. But, but yeah, video has been an incredible revolution and, um, and we're excited to see the transformation that, that we've really helped enable across the web with that. And we are going to continue innovating on, on video. So doing things like being able to actually search within video for text. Uh, so you can find, you know, where Beat TV is mentioned inside a film clip, uh, be able to find that within video. Be able to index the video with search engines, uh, so you can actually index to different time points within a video. Uh, be able to add interactivity to video, so when you're watching something, it's not completely passive. You can actually roll over the video and in interact with it, you know, perhaps even, you know, choose your own ending kind of uh, video experiences. So there's a lot more uh, that we're working to do to bring to the video experience on the web. Well, with technology like Flash, it's very much an interactive technology, a, a, you know, a time-based uh, format. And so it's not something that's just static and you can look at and understand what it is, like an HTML page that is just a presentation of text. Um, now, the same is, is starting to be a problem for general web applications. As, as we start using uh, AJAX frameworks and JavaScript on the page a lot, you start getting a very stateful interactive application on the, on the web page. Uh, that and Flash, uh, in their interactivity, are both difficult to index. Um, because they are stateful. Uh, you not, not only need to index the URL that goes to the page, you have to index you know, what was the state of that page uh, that you wanted to actually take somebody to. Uh, like you want to take it to showing you know, image number five in the catalog, or you want to take it to uh, you know, time code one minute 30 inside the video on the page. Uh, that's something that is the challenge here in indexing that kind of interactive time-based content. So what we're doing here with Flash is uh, really innovating in how to index that stuff by enabling the search engines to play back the content, if you will, on the indexing server. So you can actually see uh, what the user would see when that content is being interacted with or played back. Um, and trying all the different interactivity routes, you can kind of index the different states inside the content. Um, and then when you do a search, be able to actually bring someone not only to that page, 
but the state of that page that you want to show them, like the time code in a video, for example. So we're, we're still early on that. You know, we've released that code to, to Google. Um, it's now you know, being integrated in their indexing engines. It's already starting to be used. Um, but really, there's a, a change in a standardization process we need to do around indicating the state of an application or of a media uh, that you're interacting with. And showing that state uh, on the URL is, is really, I think, the approach that we need to use, using either the hash mark and some you know, phrase after that or the time code after that um, in order to show that state. We really need to get more consistency around how we surface those states in the URL um, and then embed that in our you know, tools and our frameworks and, and how everyone's building the content so that the uh, indexing engines can actually take it to those different states more easily. So that's the, that's the challenge right now in indexing this interactive media. But we're working really hard on it and uh, made, made great progress already. Um, and doing things like doing uh, voice to text will help. Uh, there's also some great technology being researched right now to do some image recognition. Uh, both for static images as well as video images. You know, is a particular star in that video clip, you know, do I recognize the location that the video is being shot on? Um, that's where a lot of the kind of coming innovation is in that category of trying to determine after the fact, if you will, you know, what, what's in that video. Um, but there's a lot we can do to actually put more metadata in the video, and that's something we're working on from the, from the very beginning of, of tooling for video all the way through uh, delivery on, on, on the web. And, and we have the broadest uh, range of video technologies at Adobe. So from the concepting of the video to the capture, recording, editing, deployment, streaming, uh, management of the video, uh, we're actually able to participate across that full range of workflow and do things like maintain metadata, uh, you know, preserve uh, the original you know, concepts and the script you know, all the way through uh, delivery of that video on the internet. And so that's something that we think is going to really help uh, the indexing and the searchability and, and the experience for users uh, you know, uh, at the end uh, in the video world.